Hey, how's it going, guys? Today I have the Sportfy X10 Plus earbuds here that's going for about $70 at the time of this video. There's an Indiegogo campaign which they raised a lot of money on. And if you're one of those funders, there's something important that you need to know about. And one of the things is that it's a storage space on here. So you know how it says four gigabytes. Let me go to my computer real quick. So I've got this plugged into my PC now. And as you can tell, there's only about 491 megabytes free instead of uh, four gigs. And uh, yeah, this keeps disconnecting from my USB thing, so don't mind that. But yeah, so instead of four gigabytes that it claims to have, it's only 500 megabytes about. And this is their Indiegogo campaign where it says specifically four gigabytes of internal storage. When I tried to comment or contact them about it, here's what they said. Initially, from the first email they did send to me, they mentioned that it had 512 megabytes instead of four gigs, but that made me wonder why, and I forgot about that, but when I asked them, they kept dodging the question until finally they mentioned that it was a pilot edition. So I have the pilot edition since they sent one to YouTube reviewers like myself, which I do appreciate, but all this sh sounds a little shady to me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm going to move on with this video, assuming that this is true. Now, I would have made a video sooner on these, but the reason I didn't was because I was having trouble with the the sound, uh, or I mean the connection breaking up every now and then, and uh, I did notice a few issues like the song stops working in the middle. Now, from the point I've had it till now, it's it hasn't been as much of a problem. Like, I wait like two minutes and everything connects together. But one of the problems I did notice and capture on video just now just like that, they uh, aren't working properly right now. Let me see if you can hear it. Yeah, this is uh, Big Sean's Bounce Back song, and it just froze right in the middle when I was just listening to it casually right before making this video. So it's kind of disappointing that it still occurs. In terms of sound quality, these do have that like kind of 3D surround sound, and they do have a little bit of bass, not to the point where your ears, where you'll feel the vibration, but at the same time, it won't sound completely flat like some of the other ones I've tested out. But then again, those were cheaper. I tested out mostly in the $40, $50 range. And these sound similar to that, but maybe a little better, I want to say, because of the surround sound. Uh, another thing is that this does have, unfortunately, mono calling. So that means when you call on the phone or talk on the phone, only one side will emit the sound, one side of the earbud. And the other thing I didn't like was the buttons. They're pretty hard to press. And it gets pretty uncomfortable to press when you're going out for a run or working out or something along those lines. I do like how these fit in my ears because they fit perfectly. So I had no trouble running uh, and never came out or I needed to adjust them that much. No problem whatsoever. So that was a good thing. But overall, as a, from a review standpoint, these are decent, I got to say. I can't tell you the, about this, but battery life, because I was having trouble uh, connecting with these and staying connected. So I kind of just left them on the side. I used them every now and then. So overall, would I recommend these? Uh, the Pilot Edition, no. But assuming that the Pilot Edition was only for me and a few other YouTubers, I would say this is a good choice, assuming that the released version will have four gigabytes of internal storage and it'll have, it won't have any of the problems that I had, you know, with like the connectivity issues or the sound just like disconnecting or, you know, all those other like minor problems. Yeah, they, they seem like a decent choice again because I didn't have any problems with running and whatnot. Again, what makes these really stand out from other devices or other true wireless earbuds is that this has internal storage. You know, for 70 or $80, I wonder if there's a better pair of earbuds out there. And I'm going to be testing a lot more in the near future, so be sure to subscribe for that. And leave a like if you found this video helpful. As always, thanks for watching.